Jesus came down from the mountain. Where Jesus came down from the mountain. There a large crowd. A large crowd followed him. Followed him. Verse two. Verse two. Uh huh. And a leper came up to him. And a leper came to him. And bowed down before and him. Bowed down before him. Saying. Saying. Lord. Lord. If you are willing. If you are willing. You are able to make me clean. You and you are able to make me clean. Well. Well. Verse three. Uh huh. Just repeat that part. Is it a question? Yes. If you are willing. Hi, O oh Lord. Uh huh. Verse two. Uh huh. And the leper came up to uh, him. Uh huh. And bowed down before him. And bowed before him. Saying. Saying. Lord. Lord. If you are willing. If you are willing. You are able to make me. You clean. are able to make me clean. If you are able. You are able. You, if you are willing, you are able to make me clean. He is telling Jesus because he knew his position. That I am a leper. When you come to Jesus, you know your condition. And for you to expose your condition, it is us. Yes. 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 He kneeled down, which means it's a sign of humbleness. Sign of humbleness to say, Jesus, I have tried to everything, but I could not say myself. But if you are willing, and able to cleanse me, cleanse me. So now he's testing Jesus. If Jesus Christ can heal, then you will be upon his life. And I don't want you to look at this man and see somebody with sores all over his body. But see a person who's been troubled. Somebody who's tired. You cannot bow down if you're not yet tired. In worship, it was a prayer. It was already before Jesus came to him. He was already prayed. When you come here, your attitude towards Jesus matters. Acknowledging your condition, your situation, to him. Don't try to become what you are not. Because who you are to him. Acknowledgement of weaknesses that bring grace. I repeat, acknowledgement of what weakness that brings grace. He acknowledged that I've got a leprosy. If you are willing, I can be able to cleanse me. Read. Mm -hmm. Jesus reached out his hand. He reached out his hand. And touched him and touched him, saying, saying, I am willing. I'm willing. Be cleansed. Be cleansed. Immediately. Huh? Immediately. His leprosy was cleansed. His leprosy was cleansed. Just repent for Jesus. I was happy to see my soul. Humility that brings results. But what is something by acknowledging and the by humbleness, the manifestation of the touch was the finishing product to his healing. Amen. But the man was healed while he was still Healing came out of Jesus. And he said, I hear oh, us. It's here. Here I manifest it's myself. There is that one. Let me manifest myself. Now. But for people to believe, Jesus, stretch your hands. Jesus had every reason to say to him, We are cleansed. Go. We are cleansed. You might be here. Jesus can heal you. Without being touched. By your attitudes towards me. Just read. Verse 4. Uh -huh. And Jesus said to him. Jesus said to him. See that you tell no one about this. See that you don't tell anyone about this. But go. But go. Show yourself. Show to yourself to a what? To, to the priest. To the priest. For inspection. For inspection. And present the offering. And present the offering. That Moses commanded. That Moses has commanded. As a testimony. As a testimony. Evidence to them. Evidence yes. to them. As evidence to them. Of okay. your healing. Do not tell anyone. Oscar, oh, 
say to yourself, who are the priests? You are here, you are surrounded by priests. In your family, they are priests. Your friends are priests. There are so many people that are the priests around you. So he said, don't tell anyone. That why Jesus Christ says do not tell him. There are testimonies that are not permitted to be told. There are testimonies that are not supposed to be told, but they can be presented. They are not supposed to be told. But presented. If being told and presented is not the same. You can tell. And you can be attacked. You can present. You can be safe. I present my testimony. I don't tell my testimony. Presentation happened at last. We try so when I can tell you in the telling How are now trades out on the line of the trade? It has an in twenty seconds. Let me come to you later. And it's a woman if you cook. And the food that's still inside the pot. And they enjoy certain little bits. There is no presentation there. How now? Even if you can tell that they taste nice. If never dress up to go. But the moment you dish, we see the presentation. In back of house, house so full, I just tell you now. And by presentation, we can taste. And the cats are now they come with a bit of energy. That is how one must treat the testimony. It is not every testimony that need to be told. But they need to be presented. But if you've got verbal, verbal diarrhea, you won't reach presentation. They will show you before you dish that your food has not tasted. I tell you something. What did I say? What did Jesus Christ is teaching us? Do Just not tell down anyone you are tasting. Because there are people that are, you are telling that are demonic. They are waiting to hear and attack. But if you present to them, it is too late. They cannot do anything. Ask your neighbor, are you not telling them? Are you now, are, are you telling them? Do you know what has been commanded to Moses? Just read. Verse 5. Uh -huh. As Jesus went into Capernaum. So this is another category. To the point of the people who presented himself. He presented himself. He acknowledged his witness. He slipped across and he bowed down. And he received him. Now Jesus Christ is moving. I want you to follow me. I want you to go with me. Now Jesus Christ is going somewhere. I want that situation. And a man in authority. A centurion man. This is the man in authority. He's, He's got people that work for him. He's got soldiers with him. And he commands to say, do this. Go ahead. This is the man of authority. But when he met with Jesus, listen, you will hear what he says. He dispositioned himself. He removed his authority. His power. His power. Because he's meeting the men of When you are meeting with Jesus, he has the authority above your authority. When you are meeting with Jesus, you are meeting a man with power above your power. So the saturated man now came to him, not as an authority man. 
he came in acknowledgement. That is why you will hear. He said to Jesus, My servant is not well. But I'm not with him. For you, Jesus, to come over my roof. Which means he said, I'm a sinner. He confessed. He confessed that I'm not worthy to, to welcome you in my house. And if I, if I come to you, not acknowledging my condition, my situation, my weakness, I'm going to disadvantage my servant. But if I come, and I acknowledge that I'm a sinner, Righteousness has come not only to me, even to myself. Salvation has come not only to me, but also to my servant and my household. Do not come over my roof. Just send forth your weight. And Jesus can say, I have never seen such faith in the whole of Israel. Sometimes you must do things that move Jesus. That no one has ever done. Don't follow the pattern of what other people has done. Be the first to do something that Jesus Christ will say, huh? What then do you want to do? I never seen such. Even from my disciple. I have never seen such. Which means this man knows that I'm a way. Come on, so my only achievement is that I'm a way. Just like he wants me to send my son. Not in the physical. I send him to the impact as to my house. To the house. Which means he knows me. Come on, so my one thing. That I'm the way. Oh, it's not even in the physical. Send forth your weight. We tell him that I'm in the house. What is the use of you going there with this? You are the way. Oh, we're not way of one. And the way of you are the way. Just send it. And we're not going to go on with this. Going there, it is too late. We are more known that we send you away. We're not going to go on with this. Jesus Christ went. Amen. The body remained. And the Jesus Christ died, Mom. The way to win. We are going to go on with this. Amen. Know that you are here. See you all for the seed. To be come back to the body. And I put you on my name. And when the children called or went home, the servant was he is the spirit. The moment you believe, how do they know? You receive. Are you hearing me, church? The moment you believe, how are now do they receive? Even if you don't see it now, but you believe that it is there. 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 I want to summarize this message. Because already we, we, we have been preaching. From here you will hear. Going down. He is going to meet the mother-in-law to Peter. And who is Peter? Peter is an apostle. A but the mother-in-law is sick. But why Peter? Because Peter knows how to be. Because Peter knows how to be. Why Peter is not there? Uh, this is my mother-in-law. And I'm the disciple of Jesus. And then I'm the disciple of Jesus. Do I hear you? He knew that until the fixed date of the Father, I'm not permitted to say you are here. Because the one who is here, the contract, the argument will be affected only in this way. Go home. I'm not permitted yet. You want to tell me that Peter did not have an anointing? Trained by Jesus. But he said no. I will bring the one who is teaching me how to do it. He healed himself. And Jesus Christ went to his house. And he saw Peter and his law in the pit. And he stretched his hand. And Peter's mother-in-law was healed. I believe that Peter was happy. That the master is here. My mother-in-law. Is here. Now. He knows that I'm a sinner. 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 He knows that I
o folicídio. Pai Peter, e Papi, respeita o Jesus. O ladrão para Jesus. Peter, Peter, know that the effective date of this will. Assim vai o resultado. Will only take it it effective when the master. Lita Sebeta Hamurena has been taken. To the Father. Now the will is effective. But until Jesus Christ is with him or still with him, the will is not effective. All of you here, you've got the will. You can't go and claim me to say, I want to claim my will now. While you are still alive, but it must be claimed by those that are left behind. Baby. You are dead. That is, that is why it is called a will. It becomes effective when you are dead. Am I talking to you? And Jesus Christ healed the mother in law. And Jesus Christ for this now the testing come. Now the testing come to the disciple. You have seen how I healed the leper? Did you see how the servant was healed? Did you see how Peter's mother was healed? I want to see how you respond. Let's go over there to see. Because whatever that I've done, I was teaching you on how to respond. I was testing your faith. I was testing your maturity. Now they are inside the sea. Strong winds, storm came. And it was tossing the boat. Everywhere. And Jesus Christ was asleep. Peter. Peter. Cannot remember. The miracle that Jesus John, Andrew, John, Andrew could not remember. What he the only thing that they can do is to run to Jesus to wait Jesus. Come. That we are dying, Jesus, and you are asleep. Wake up and save us. And the rebuke came. You of little faith. You will not When the souls come. If you what do you do? Is your Jesus sleeping? And I just saw it. My Jesus does not sleep. Just walk out When the storms, the waves come, you must know that he's with you. Don't wake him up. Speak the word. Do I need to? And I want to rebuke someone here today. The same way Jesus rebuked the disciple. He said, You of little faith. You, you stubborn. You foolish. The miracle signs and wonders that I've done to you. I was teaching you. What have you learned? Which means in each and every miracle, in each and every healing, in each and every deliverance, there is a teachings that you one must receive. And which means you are being elevated and being promoted so that when the storm comes, you will know how to answer. But today, people are being hit. People are delivered. People are blessed. But there is no teachings. That is how we lose. There is no miracle for the sake of miracle. There is no a miracle which is of play. There is no healing of enjoyment or of every miracle is a teaching. Healing is a teaching. Deliverance is a teaching. To the one that is the power of God is being demonstrated. In healing, in deliverance and blessing. You have been taught how to respond when the storm comes. You receive the word that astonish your surroundings. You receive the word that must cause confusion but to your enemy. But if you don't know what you are delivered from, you 
If you are being delivered, you are healed or blessed, but you do not know that these are the teachings. It becomes entertainment. You're playing soccer. You can be injured at any time. The rebuke. But if you know, you will know how to answer. How do you answer? By protecting your testimony. By protecting your salvation. Keep for yourself. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Let's not take this thing lightly. That I'm going to church and I'm going to be delivered. I'm going to be blessed. I'm going to be healed. Do you receive the teachings? If not, repent. You do not have the weight. You've got the so called healing. You've got the so called blessing. You've got the so called deliverance. You are not yet. Storms will come. You will look for the apostle. You look for my number. And you will not find me. Because I've given you the weight. Am I talking to you? Is this teaching too hard? What is the use? Of being healed something that you don't know. What is the use of being present by something that you do not know? You are being present by manner. You can't even present the manner. Because you don't know what is this. But if you know that this is the way, this is the testimony, you will speak that we have overcame the devil by the way of our testimony. And by the blood of Jesus, salvation has come. But if you do not have the weight, when the storm comes, when they question your testimony, you cannot defend it. So, but it's like you give me water. It is like you give me a sticker. It was like you clap me. Not all who are clap. All these things that you have mentioned, they are rubbish. You are not mentioning the weight. See water and see the weight. See soil and see the weight. See the sticker, the calendar, the weight. But if you see an object, that is what you understand the test of Satan will steal it. Storms will come. Ask your neighbor. Is your testimony the weight? Or your testimony is water? Or your testimony is oil. I went to Papa, he gave me oil. He does not have oil. I don't have water. We have the weight. That is why when you reject, you throw them away. You take the oil, you throw away. You take water, you throw away. You remove the sticker. Yeah, it's a sign that you receive an object. Because you can throw away the weight. You cannot throw away the weight. The weight remains in you. Am I talking to you? So what is your testimony? Is it the way? Did you present it to the priest? Who is the priest? Can you see your priest? priest are people of position. They are people with that position that you are giving them position. Because of the lack of knowledge. You are telling you a person who is nothing, your testimony. And you make him a priest. And now he's above you. Today, 
do not tell your testimony. But you Ask your neighbor. Do not tell your testimony. If you've got verbal diarrhea, Nick, ask for deliverance. If you cannot keep it until presentation, just imagine you are cooking. And you are cooking for visitors. They are there by the dining or the sitting room. And you are there by the kitchen. Every moment you come with a spoon. Can you taste my food? Is it nice? You have lost it. Do not tell your testimony. But if you come after waiting, after cooking, I know that you love the spice that's called the seven guns. Six guns. And then the one that you should see so. There's no conflict of interest. There's no war. You know, have you ever seen a plate which is well presented? A fish and the rice and, and the veg. And they are presented. They are not fighting. They are not, they are not in the political fight. Fish look at the rice and say, hey. And then I call me as the rice and, and the rice look at the, the, the veg and say, hey. And then I the rice and say, the vegetable we are eat. The rice will And then the rice is In order for me to be tested. Yeah. Yeah. Rice is the rice is the rice is the if you want me to be tested, before you choose, presentation. Who do not turn, who I bless you with the presentation today. Do not tell anyone your testimony. Come to Jesus and acknowledge your weaknesses. When you say I'm a sinner, you cannot be disqualified. But if you, if you, if you pretend to be righteous, you can be disqualified. The great by acknowledging your weakness. Unless you make Jesus a lie. Jesus love you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. And why Jesus Christ is teaching us this mystery? From the leper, the centurion man, Peter's mother-in-law, the storm. Why is he teaching us? He's preparing you today. That after you present your testimony, storms will come. You heard me in the church. And this church is as a result of the storm. And I pray that more storm must come. Not from the wind. For people to know Jesus. I have overcome demon from the church. You need to overcome those demons that are surrounding you in order to go to another level. God bless you all.